<laughs> Shoving a bit of wood up there, why not? Um, Dad? Oh, hello, my favourite son, who I will never disown because I have no reason to. Okay, that's quite specific. Um, well, I'm sexually attracted to fences. You mean fencing as in the sport, right? No, no, a little, a little fence, garden fence. Get out. What? Well, just get out. Hello everyone, my name's Gansy Games and welcome to some more back. Welcome blah, 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 blah. And welcome back to some more weird news. Before we begin, I really appreciate you giving a like on this video, just support the channel and subscribe if you're new here and click that bell. Every every little click helps. We're uh, uh, supporting the channel and getting YouTube to notice me by the algorithm. Today's video is about attraction. Specifically, sexual attraction but not in the way that you think. Woman who is sexually attracted to a fence says she wants to get to know it better. Right, we've, we've, we've been through quite a few of these lately with the weird news, with strange addictions and stuff like that, but sexually attracted? Do you sit on it? Oh. Have that in his hand? Oh no, he's gonna pitch himself at the bum. Oh. Is it your fence? I hope so, cause you know, someone else's fence you're doing stuff to is a bit strange what i'm talking about it is it is strange <laughs> i did not expect to find a fence like this here at all he's perfect i mean this is the shape that i like so much <laughs> sorry for what she said i like the shape of it so much i wonder why <laughs> wait so it's literally the whole fence not just like one piece Okay, fair enough. Fabulous. Uh, are you? Is she kissing it? She's literally stroking it. <laughs> What's that? Good old in. I was right. I was right in that one, I said, oh my god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shoving a bit of wood up there, why not? Fences are such dangerous objects for me because they are so perfect <laughs> in their geometry. Okay. Uh, I mean, I have to say, there is a lot of physical stuff going on right now. Is this allowed to be shown on YouTube? And I, I think that happens between human relationships as well, but I'm definitely physically attracted to this fence. Um, and I would like to get to know this fence better. Wow, you are sweet. You're very, very sweet. <clears throat> serious face, come on, serious face. Oh my god. That is so uncomfortable. I can't, and it really doesn't seem real to me, but I can't believe I was right about her. Like, she sits on it. Ah! You may recognize the woman involved in the in, a, in this unusual relationship because Erica Labrai previously gained attention through a documentary about her attraction to inanimate objects. Object, um, objects and her unique wedding to the Eiffel, um, the Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah, I remember this, yeah. It's like one of the first ones I heard, then I heard about the one about the train station. Though she tied the knot with the famous Har um, Harrison landmark, Erica attraction came in all shapes and sizes, as made clear by her fascination with the red wooded fence she was filmed uh, stumbling upon in the documentary. Wow, so she basically didn't take her long yet to move on then, did she? And she's still married to the Eiffel Tower, isn't this basically cheating? She's a whore! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. In the clip from the show, Erica can be seen stroking the post of, of the fence and describing it as perfect. <laughs> Imagine that in a creepy voice. Perfect. <laughs> I did not expect to find a fence like this here at all. She said, I mean, this is the shape that I like so much. <laughs> These angles, fabulous. Oh, God. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry. Rather than a solid fence made of plain old wood, ret uh, rectangulars, the fence showed off 
uh, jazzy slants angles at the top of each post. She continued, she continued, fences are such dangerous objects for me because they are so perfect in their geometric, uh, geometric. I mean, I have to say there's a lot of physical stuff going on right now. I'm definitely physically attracted to this fence and I would like to get to know it more. <laughs> After explaining her feelings to the camera, Erica began to talk to the fence directly as she sat uh, straddled across it, describing it as sweet. Erica identified it as an objection sexual OS, which means she can become romantically and sexually attracted to inanimate objects. She previously spoke to the New Zealand Herald about about sexuality, pointing out everyone has a type they are drawn to, including those who identify as OS. What well, SOS? You missed out. You, I think you missed out one S there, mate. I find my type is an object that that misunderstands by the world. That is misunderstood by the world. Everyone understands what the Eiffel Tower is, love. And a fence. The Eiffel Tower is surrounded by millions of tourists who are in love with each other, not with her. Because it's a building. It doesn't have a soul. It's a building. Probably made by Illuminati, you never fucking know, do you? Following the release of the documentary, Erica claimed it had raised... Uh, misconceptions that OS people were inclined towards objects for the sake of control due to factors such as abuse and mental illness. However, she pointed out number numbers suggest that the most have no more issues than a normal cross section of society. Erica's relationship with the Ivor Tower came to an end after 10 years, but she stressed it will always have a place in her heart. It didn't take her long to move on, you're now basically riding your new lover. In someone in a, in a in a probably a kids park. Fences are such dangerous objects for me because they are so perfect. Imagine taking your kid for a walk or your dog, and you just see some girl sitting on a fence making weird noises and ca caressing the wood. I would never go back there ever again, and I would probably call the authorities. <laughs> anyway, guys, what the fuck? That was some weird news today. Um. If you ever see her, uh, if you ever see, if she ever, if she's ever around your neighbourhood, make sure you haven't got any fences. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments, um, leave your suggestions, and your thoughts about this in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like. And I'll see you. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.